Cape Cast. Howdy, folks. I'm Eric Williams, and welcome to Cape Cast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times. We're at the old Jail Lane Conservation Area in Barnstable, and we're dragging for ticks. Don't try this at home or out somewhere, but this is the way you can potentially get some ticks. We're using a noodle that you float on in the summertime and a pillowcase, which will never be used again. We're getting involved in this tick thing because we've heard a lot of people been walking around getting a lot of ticks. We've got a few tick tips for you too, including some new tick repellent clothing we're gonna find out about. Let's see if we got anything. All right, one sweep, seven ticks, and now into the cigar box and over to the lab. Well, the frightening thing about this is in trying to gather ticks, now we have ticks on us. I've got a couple here on my leg, which makes me think there's more. So we've really bumped into like 10 ticks in like 10 minutes. And that's a little frightening because you know, some of these could give you something you don't want. We've got the pillowcase here, Larry. All right. uh, inside the pillowcase is part of our secure tick environment is an old cigar box here. There's some cellophane <laughs> and who knows what's in that. That's a maximum security tick prison, huh? And I guess, can I just... Uh, sure. Hey, okay, girls. <laughs> so, oh, sure. Free-range ticks. Tell us what this clothing is and what's going to happen okay. here. What do you think? What we're looking at is a pair of pants that's made by the Insect Shield Company, a uh, company in North Carolina. And what they've figured out how to do is to take a, a tick-repellent chemical uh, called permethrin. And permethrin actually repels, and if there's long enough contact, will actually kill the tick. So they figured out a way to incorporate that into fabric. Now is, see, she just fell right off. Do you wear these things? I do, actually. That's what I'm wearing right now. Uh, I Actually, you can, you can treat your own clothing with the same in, uh, active ingredient, permethrin. You can buy it under a number of different brands. This happens to be Benz, but it comes under Sawyer. Permanone and a few others. Is there any concern you're wearing some kind of sort of something in your pants that kills ticks? Are you worried as a human being when you have that stuff well, on? It's a chemical and you have to, you know, use, you know, precautions as with any chemical, read the label. But if you look at the toxicology profile, well, consider this is that uh, permethrin is 1200 times more toxic to a tick than a person. The absorption by human skin for permethrin is actually quite, quite low. Now, if people have been calling the office and saying, hey, I've been out in the woods, i got five ticks, i got ticks on me, what do I do? Has it been sort of busy for you? It has been. It's uh, People want to kind of uh, get reminded of what the life cycle is, what's the risk of tick-borne disease, because we're not just talking about Lyme disease anymore. We're talking about two potential other infections that can be serious, babesiosis and anaplasmosis. They're out in force right now, and we expected this. I mean, it's, it's, it reoccurs you know, annually. This uh, The adult stage ticks is what it's coming out now. Uh, we started picking them up uh, early October and they'll be here through the cold weather. They'll be here in the middle of winter when it's freezing. All right, Larry, shouldn't we all just stay indoors and be bubble boys and just watch television and never go outside again? Not remotely. Uh, it's, it's, um, you should uh, be aware of your environment. Don't fear it. Nice.